We've got another Reaper, and it's a major already, actually. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, actually. we got two majors. So, what the hell were we doing? <laughs> I can't remember what the hell we were doing. We've got a beam cannon being researched, a supply drop in 11 days, and we're finding the stronghold in five days, which will give us an option to take down the next big guy. But we don't actually need to take them down yet, because I think... That one's defeated. Oh, we're going to have to take it pretty soon. That's right. We're going to have to take pretty pretty soon. Yeah, bewildered. Weaknesses takes additional damage from three plus attacks in a single turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. Stop looking at his weaknesses. Right, yeah. We're hunting for him. We're going to get the next bar of progress. We're going to have to really focus on that, actually, because he's getting close to discovering us. Wait, how come I've got that one hunted? Oh, we hunted that one because he had a reward, right? Right, yeah. So, now, originally we were going for the triangulated position, but things happened. We had a retaliation project, blah, 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 and uh, avatar project. Bit of an issue. So... We're actually going to take down one of the alien facilities because pretty much what the hell choice do we have? Well, <laughs> we could let this fill. Um, we need we need to work on this. We do. We were checking the forums for Crystal Palace's Reaper customization. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, right. Um, let's have a look. Did he, did he post it? Can you give me a link, Wolfclaw? Give me a link. Yeah, we've got two Ra We've got two of them now. We've actually got two of them. Which is... Oh. No, we... No, they can share it. We're never going to send them both on a mission. Almost certainly not, right? Almost certainly not. I just want to show what what Wraith looks like because because the recording because the recording uh, stopped whilst we were doing that and didn't restart. I just want people are going to look at the vod and think, "What the hell just happened?" So that's it. That is Major Crystal Wraith Palace. Everyone gets to see him in all his monochrome badass coolness. <laughs> However, so. For those of you in the VOD, skipped a couple of seconds. Don't worry too much about it. Holy sh! You didn't miss that though. Holy! Did I read that right? Z one R one That's the graphics card right there. It bloody is, isn't it? Dude. Thank you, but Okay, you know you know the deal probably it if you wake up tomorrow and think Oh my god, what did I do? Just um send me a message. Because that's slightly terrifying. Thank you very much. Thank you very... Wow. Yeah. Okay. Seriously, though. If that was one of those impulse buying things that we were talking about earlier, just... Send me a message. Okay. Whoa, dude, 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 dude. Okay, that, that just, just... 
Yeah. I'm not drunk, just bored. But yeah, okay, okay. Time keeps passing in map mode. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Time keeps passing in map mode. But I got it. I got it. Sorry. Either do the gorilla or get out of the map. I got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, it's not. That took me a bit by surprise. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh, good grief. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you really very, very much. That really... Again, just just please contact me if that was one of those... You, you just... Yeah. If you wake up tomorrow and think... Because I will totally understand, okay? It's an elaborate ploy to make Gopher lose by waiting too long while the game passes. That's an expensive way of making me fail. <laughs> that is an expensive. Okay, um... I think people really want to pay you back for the graphics card. Yeah, but he's just paid for the graphics card. That man has just paid for the graphics card. That's the graphics card. That's the... That's my system fixed. Which means now, if, if, if I test this out and... And it looks like um, the 4K capture card is, is, is an option. I can buy ten, a, a 1440p monitor now. It's, oh, good grief. Should send in the graphics card. You, you're more than welcome to have the one that's lying on the bench. It's got a dicky fat, though. Oh, good grief. This is your way of helping me supply you with more entertainment. That is one hell of a help, mate. That really is a... That's that's just... I mean, thanks. Seriously. I'm... I'm blown away. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean... It's, right, okay. Let's... Let's... Get back on with... With, with, well, I can't remember what the hell was going on. I was talking, I was talking to people in the video on demand, wasn't I? I was talking to people in the video on demand to explain to them why there was a bit of a gap. I am um, having some recording issues, my apologies. Uh, okay. I'm focusing, I'm focusing, I'm focusing. So yeah, we decided we were going to do the the mission to get the Avatar project down. And just as we were doing that, and I realized I'd messed up the recording and wanted to come out and show you the soldier, we got a Gorilla Ops. And we absolutely have to check that right now. Okay. One does not simply explain the gap. No, with what has... I mean, no one's going to know what the hell's going on. I don't know what the hell's going on at this point. Okay, so, right. Um, New India, Operation Steel Walker. Recover item from Advent Train. Is this one of those timed missions? It counters return fire. Gives me supplies, which is nice. Um, miss shots on Advent officers and priests will trigger return fire. It's not a good one. West Asia. Operation Forgotten Spear. Protect the device. Difficulty hard. This gets us an engineer. Oh, and this stops the UFO that hunts us down. That seems like... That seems like... The one to counter. What? Check the... Stealth insertion. Any mission timers will not start until the squad breaks concealment. All right, so... My life is to serve you, my lord. Mika Boschib. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. You're going to try the forest in VR? Yes, I am. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, all right. So this, this is actually a good thing, and it will help with a very hard mission, but I don't like this one, but 
Having a UFO hunt us down sounds very, very bad. Okay, the UFO mission is nothing to worry about. Okay, maybe it's not that bad. Um, all right. Guess an engineer, though, which is nice, but... East Asia. Counters lightning reflexes. Overwatch shots will always miss advent troopers. That gets us a new soldier, but honestly, I'm not... Oh, God, that's also very difficult. Lightning reflex over... Mind you, that's... It makes Overwatch... Oh, no, it's only Advent Troopers. It's only against Advent Troopers, right? It's only for troops. So it's not really that worth it. It gets us a new Grenadier, but honestly... Oh, mind you, it's a major Grenadier. Hmm... Intel suggests a large number of the Advent Troopers present under Advent-only leadership. Okay, Sector Pod. Right. West Asia is the best. Well, that gets me... That counters this, but everyone's saying that's not really that big a deal. And I hate Protect the Device ones. I hate Protect the Device ones. This one, we've got to get an item from a trade. There will be a timer. But... We've actually got a little extra time because of this, as long as we don't break stealth. So if we send a Reaper, return fire sounds bad. But there is a no, no really bad one. Yeah, I don't think any of them are the worst. Ooh. Take two Reapers in there. That's an option, I guess. I mean, that is an option. Two Reapers. And... But... I only have one good gun. I don't actually need to send both Reapers in with a good gun. I could send one Reaper in to do damage and one to stay in stealth. I mean, they both Reapers do a lot of damage, even with a basic gun. Return Fire probably has a higher chance to randomly kill someone than the UFO. Really? Oh, pretty sure I won't need to. Okay. The UFO mission is a fun distraction and the supply... Oh, you get supplies! Oh, no, this gives supplies. Yeah, it gives supplies. Get supplies. i got to be honest, I'm liking the idea of that one. It is very difficult, though. So, what have we got? Elite officer, elite purifier, elite shield bearer, spectre, sectoid, sector bond. We got a bunch of seriousness on that mission, though. We have got a bunch of seriousness. Let's do New India, but let's not take this for granted. I've selected it. What? Oh, confirm, yes. All right. Setting course for India. Don't take the new Reaper out right away. Bad luck. <laughs> Man, really? Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy yeah, if we both don't of them put the Skulljack to good use. We Sk should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. Okay. Is this a good mission to be trying to skulljack people? Okay. We can't take mocks, which is not good. We can take... We're going to take at least one... Reaper. Bring the Genius Templar. Oh, wait. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. Thank you. I, um... Okay. Both Reapers might be good with all those explosives. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, there is a good argument to be made because, because the, because can't the, can't the Reapers do a lot of damage without breaking concealment for the entire squad? I mean, they can use claymores, they can use remote detonations, they can do a lot of damage and not break concealment for the entire squad, which means we won't have a timer running out. Am I wrong in thinking that? I mean... <laughs> I mean, honestly, those two could just go forward while the rest just hide, hide at the back for a little while, 
These guys could do quite a lot of killing. And then everyone and then just have everyone behind them ready to move in eventually. Remote detonation and claymore is the only useful thing about them. No, it's not! They've got these guys, we've pimped them pretty much. Their rifles only do four to four to five. Um actually she's got what's she got? Um she doesn't actually have shredder, but what does she have? She does a uh, two armor piercing. And I can't remember what else she's got. She's got two claymores. Banish. She does a lot of damage. Yeah. I mean, it's the explosives. You could take out several groups just with explosives. Claymores. So, I mean... Just, just because this mission is going to have a timed element when they break concealment. There's, a, there's, a, there's just a little side of me thinking that could be awesome. Right. We can't take those guys on the covert op. So, we're going to need a specialist. Let's take... Okay. Who's Jean Cle? Jean Cle is with Alan Jellen. Is Alan Jellen... Is that the ranger that's kind of very ninja-ish as well? Yeah, this is our phantom. We actually... Mind you, not once the squad break concealment, that's the that's the thing. It's not whether or not. The pr the problem's going to be we do need something to take out. Um, the the big guy, the sector pod. So I'm just, I'm, I'm randomly picking things at the moment. I'm not saying this is definitely going to be my... What about... What about a sniper? Should I take a sniper? Should I take a Templar? See, I'm just not sure I need to take the Ranger. I'm really... Not with two Reapers. Gunslinger with blue screens would be good against the sector pod. Yeah, that would that's another option, of course. Um and she's on a covert action. I need more sharpshooters. Who else was we go who else was going for we've got sniper and sniper. Who else was gonna be um was Larry going to be a gunslinger as well? We need another gunslinger. Tibor Octum. Thank you for the resub. So, you know, I I, I don't do it. Do I want a sharpshooter? Do I want a Templar? Fire three times with the pistol. Blue screens is 21 to 32 damage de oh, demand on the rolls. Totally, totally. I don't have a I don't have one. I mean, I, I could take Julian. Can't give him the what's it rounds, though. We need something for taking out the heavy. Oh, give blue screens to Crystal Palace and use him on the sector pod with Banish. Ooh, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Although... Oh, he can actually take them, can't he? He can take... Oh. Make utility items available. Where's the blue screen rounds, then? Oh, there they are. So if we did this... If we did this, we could actually use him to take out the uh, the, the sanctuary once once it comes into into view. 
Give me the good rifle in that play case. Stop with your stop. <laughs> you could build more rounds. I don't know how many supplies I've got. It would be nice to have more blue screen rounds, of course. Because then I could just put a lot of blue screen rounds on people, but... I still think you should leave Elena. She hates puppies. What? <laughs> You're weird. Right, we got two Reapers to take advantage of this stealth thing. You can see your supplies when you go in to build items. Yeah, we don't want to have a huge amount, you see. So... Yeah, we can't do it anyway. So we got two rangers to take advantage of this stealth mechanic. They're going to move around and desperately try not to trigger break concealment. Get a lay of the land. Once we know where we're going, we're going to move these three in. Hopefully position him where he needs to position. And these guys can start taking people out whilst concealed. Who was that? You need your coin flip mod. Yeah. Okay. I, I say we go. I say we go. If we're going to ask one favour, it would be to at least change my gun to pink. Doesn't... Why is it... Is it, it does the gun keep the character... The colour of the character when it was set or something? That's odd, if you ask me. But it looks like you've... Out of curiosity... Do, you, do we not have a better rifle for you? No, we don't. That's weird, isn't it? That is weird. Now it's pink! Now it's changed. Okay. So we just need to do that. All right. There we go. We're going. I can't believe we've been live for an hour and three quarters. Sky Ranger deployed. <laughs> Got about ready to three deploy. minutes of play done. Okay. Let's go. It keeps the colour if you put mods on it. Mm. Word is Advent has been moving secure data vaults Neutralize to all enemies. Aboard their transport trains. And it looks like we have an opportunity to seize material. Recover critical material. To the right. latest so gonna kill everyone. Once we've located the gear, we'll need to secure the area and remove any alien forces defending the train. This okay. is our chance to slow them down. Seize that material at all costs. Okay. So, the plan here is slow and steady. This is we've taken advantage of this special sit rep. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. All right. Oh, I need to change to my keyboard. So, Crystal Palace. I don't want to take two big moves, but I am on the move. I have sight beyond vision. Okay. Now we might be able to get past that, but if we start shoot remote detonation out of curiosity. All right, no. So... I don't think we can get past this. So once we start moving these guys into position, we do, we're do. we going to have to take that out. Mind you, maybe we can get around. Maybe we can get around. Maybe we can get around. So, watch my back. 
They keep these trains running around the clock, but you'll never see them loading or unloading any cargo. At least not where anyone can see it. So... Now, if we shoot that from outside of range with... Because he's got squad sight. That breaks concealment even though... Right, yeah, that does break concealment, so... Really, what we kind of want to do is try to sneak everyone as close as, and skip this. If we can skip this, can the blue screen one-shot it? Wouldn't that be a bit of a risk? I think this is going to very much depend on what we find ahead of us. Um, but as soon as we break concealment, anyone who's like here is going to get seen by... Like, see, that that's in range of the turret. So, I could leave everyone out of range of the turret. And then once we've act broken concealment, the sniper can take it. But then we're going to have this on a time down, which we kind of wanted to avoid. So, I kind of think what I need to do is move everyone into position and then decide whether or not we actually skip everyone. Yeah, blue screen sting shot would have been nice. Well, we, we might still be able to do it, but if there's someone within line of sight when we do that, will it break conceal for them? I know it doesn't break Reaper Conceal, but if we start shooting things, does it break Conceal for the rest of the team? That's that's the... See, because I could just try and keep everyone really far on this side, and we could just try and work our way around. We've got no real need to actually... It doesn't break it if they do it, if they start shooting. Well, okay, well, that's, that's nice to know. But I think what we do, I think what we do is we move everyone forward very, very carefully indeed. Maybe even just half moves and not worry too much at the moment about that turret. Because we might be able to skip the turret. It's sort of my vague hope. Shadow rules. Thank you for the resub. I mean, really? That's in range. That's not. I want to stay out of line of sight. That's not out of line of sight. That is. So I could put a few people... Yeah, it's, this is... This is... It's going to depend very much on what's going on. All right. I'm going to be moving stupidly oh, yeah. slowly. And I do apologise if that's somewhat aggravating. Um, right, half moves only. Yes, indeed. Let's keep... Understood. Moving out. And that's my other... Right, now, actually, you know what? For now, what I want is you there. Because he can shoot the turret even from here. All right. These guys... I don't want to move them here because I don't want them in line of sight. Mind you, you could argue once we get line of... If we do break cover, line of sight is going to be the least of my worries. Um... Wait, it, who the hell's you and McLeod? Who the hell's you and McLeod? We got an extra dude. We, I've only just noticed him. We got an extra dude. Okay. <laughs> okay, what was that? Quadico, thank you for the resub. We got, we got, we got an extra dude. Okay. Okay, um, I hate to say this, but this is definitely Mr. Expendable, isn't it? 
So, let's just... Heading there now. Now that shouldn't reveal anything, because that's like double cover. Let's just move him there. Okay, so... Affirmative. I'm on it. On overwatch. Roger. I've got my eyes on. You will never hide from me. Ooh. I have sight beyond vision. An alien scouting party. Hmm. Interesting. Little side of me is thinking, go up there. High ground. So. Hmm. Interesting. Six. See nothing up on the bridge though. Welcome, medium. Ooh, okay, so we got something up there we can explode, but it's quite far away from where they are. I don't like the idea of being below these guys. See, my original thought was to move all of my people up on this side. And I suspect that is not going to be possible. Now, I can probably still move the Reapers forward. But I am worried now that we're going... Oh, what is that? What is that? Yeah. Hmm. So, I'm giving serious thought at this point to, and this is going to annoy people even more than before, but serious thought to actually staying exactly where I am, and in fact moving the Reaper, the Reaper's back a tiny bit, or maybe even up. If I get one Reaper up and keep one down below. Problem is, is you know, we got a lot of unseen... S I'm actually wondering whether... Oh, he's in the way. I am thinking of moving someone up there. And I'm thinking of moving stupidly, stupidly slowly. This is, this is going to be beyond annoying for you guys. So, um, bear with me. Basically. Is it there now? All right, he does not have a shot on the turret. I want to stay out of shot of the turret. We've got nothing, no reason to rush at the moment. One medic there. We can keep one medic there and a sniper there. So, here's my thinking, if I can find him. Take Mr. Wraith over here and then move him up next round. I don't want to move him up this round, just in case. Get high ground, basically. That is a double run, unfortunately, so... I uh, don't like double runs. Even, even in this circumstance, I don't like double runs. So... However... High ground would be good for Sniper once you break Conceal. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But we want to send stealthy people up there first to get a look-see. So, let's get the sniper in a better range to get up there. Once one of the... Uh... Okay, we're in no rush. We're in absolutely no bloody rush. So take this stupidly easily. 
She's stupidly easy. Heading to that location. The idea here is to take advantage of our stealthy characters. Now! Um, do I want to move forward and get a better look at what was over there? Maybe. I'm worried about getting too far and activating things. Stealth is good, but have you considered guns blazing? Not exactly this mission. No, I've not. Uh, let me just check. Where's that? Right, if they come down there, we're, we've got quite a bit of distance. So if, if she moves to there... Oh, I don't like the fact that we can't actually see what's there. I think I should move... a tiny bit slower. If that's possible. In fact... I'm actually thinking of moving there just to get visual on this area. If those guys could drop down, that'll still be covered. All right, I'm going to move there. As you order, Commander. So, I think we've got pretty good cover. Watching comes naturally. Uh, I'm going to move you just just a tiny bit. Position confirmed. Tengo pronto. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. I'm on it. Scanning. Right, so they're going to stay up there. I do... Oh, no. No, no, they're going down. They're going down. They're going down. All right. That actually works. Depends where they go next. However, where he's going next... I sort of feel going up further than that might be a mistake, just because it, um, we haven't got any visibility. So I'm going to move up one and then move him into position once I can see. I know it's a bit of a waste of a move, but sometimes slow and careful. I am trusting you. They may move next to an explosive car, yes. All right, so he's now got visuals. If they jump back up, it'll be over there. He can move maybe to here and still be in cover. Right. Brilliant. Then I'm going to make it so. I'm going to make him go to I think there. Moving as ordered. So I've now got line of sight over the entire bridge, I think. I just want to check this. I can move my sniper up there. Which is going to be useful as we move across. I think. So, we can move the sniper up now. Um, it's difficult to know where... Oh, I tell you what, before we do that, let's, let's imagine we were going to move up with the rookie. I'm not... Oh, mind you, I say I'm not going to. Right, that is not in sight of the turret. Only only for the sniper uh, it's in sight. So so we can move up there. Should I move the rookie up there with the sniper just so he's got some backup? I'm thinking maybe backup and sniper plus the reaper for stealth go along here. The rest stay down. I'm thinking some backup could be useful. But before I do that, let's see what she can detonate. Ooh, that's, that's a possibility. There's a possibility. There's, they're all over the place. So, I actually think I want to move her fraction back. A fraction. Just so that in case they wander over here, they don't see her. So, I move her to here. your service. Right. So, if she detonates something to, to damage them, it doesn't reveal anyone else. None of the timers go. So we've got all the time in the world. If I want the sniper up top, I should probably do that now. Where's the best place I can get him? I can't get him anywhere with cover this round, which worries me. 
Who was that? Who was that? See any, see any interesting carpets lately? Don't get it, but thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to move the sniper a little bit slowly. Um, get him in position. I'm going to put him there, actually. Then if we get spotted next round, he's in position to take advantage of it. Okay, so... And I want to keep everyone together, so I'm going to move my other medic there. Right. Moving out. Half cover will do for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. So... Got it covered. Overwatch. I am on watch. Is it one? Scanning. Everyone's on Overwatch just in case. Where are these gonna Alright, nice. So the big oh no, they're gonna go out of range. They're gonna go out of range. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? So let's just check the range. Yeah, just out. It's a shame if they'd all been next to it. Could have landed a claymore there, detonated this, and the entire thing. Mind you, 12 might have actually killed them all anyway. Actually, it would have come close, wouldn't it? It would definitely have come close, and it wouldn't break cover, so... Now, I can move back here with her, but we still don't know where they're going to go. They're walking close to a tank with a massive... Right, now... Out of curiosity, where was... Right, she could be there and be out of the range of the tanker, so that's okay. So I'm going to move her forward, just... I'm going to keep ghosting these guys. I will go. And I'm going to move... I'm going to move you there, I think. Where was the... Dr the if they come back up, they come back up there. But I... It's going to take them more than one move to come back up there. We could. I just want him to be in sight, I think. But I don't want him to be in sight that badly. Uh, so, for now, I'm just going to move him. I'm going to move him here. I go where I am needed. Okay. So, now. Where was the backup from a sniper? Right. If he goes here... That is not seen by the turret. That is. That is not. Okay, so we can get him up here. And then I can move the sniper up top as well. Maybe leave him. See, that's not in sight of the turret. That it. That is. So there, the sniper will be able to take out the turret and the other things. And I can probably leave my... Um, yeah, okay, so let's move him to the... Mind you, what happens if they turn around and come back up? They're going to come back up. Where was it? There. No, no, he's still going to be there. He's going to be concealed if he's there. If he's there, he's going to be concealed, and he can back up the sniper. All right. Running out. It's kind of useful having this extra guy, actually. It just means I can have someone backing up the sniper without it... Removing from my main team. I've actually got two teams now. All right. So. Position confirmed. So, I might as well move him there. I might as well move him there just to give him the cover, just in case. And then, oh, now the question is, do I leave everyone else outside of line of sight just in case we can do all the killing? And, and there's, a, there's a little... The other thing is, I could actually just bring everyone up bloody stairs and bypass that turret. If I bypass that turret, I, I sort of don't need to worry about. And we can do that by staying on this side... 
and then approaching over here. Ooh, I gotta be honest with you, that seems like a smart idea at this point. It really does. Okay, you know what? I'm going to move everyone closer. But I'm not going to move up yet, just in case, because I want some overwatch anyway. So I'm going to move everyone okay. a little closer. And out, out of range of the... Um... Oh, all right, you know what? Heading there now. Yeah, I mean, I might be able to find all the enemies by wandering up and down top and then decide when to take them all out. And I could even skip a few or at least make some better planning. Right. Watch. I won't let them pass. Very well, dear. I'll watch closely. I'm on it. All right, they're moving. Are they moving to another thing? Can that other thing be exploded? Oh, I think that can be exploded. I think that can be exploded. Yes, I do. I'm um, new. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That that can be exploded. Now, are you sure this will not break concealment if it's done by the Reaper? Cause it cause if so. Yeah, that does look very... Uh, didn't last time. I don't remember. We were, we didn't have this sort of concealment, did we? No, the last mission, we weren't concealed. We were not concealed on the last mission. We went in unconcealed. It doesn't break concealment for the Reaper, but does it break concealment for the team? That's the, that's the question. I don't think it does, but... And I sort of want to know where they're all going to go. All right, should we just do it? Let's do it. If this all goes to crap, we have to run. We have to run like maniacs to the objective, all right? All right. Here goes. 12. That's a lot of damage. This will be big. Some of them have got armor, though. The question is... Ooh, I think there's loot there. I think this loot. I want. I want to get eyes. I want to get. Eyes. Is there anyone left? I think it killed them all. I think it killed them all. All right. This. All right. And now she can move next round and get the loot. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to be cautious. I'm going to continue to be cautious. Michael, you tell me? We've got no timer so far. No timer, therefore no real reason to freak out. No, we've not. So... I want to stay away from that turret. Uh, where can I get? Oh. Oh. There's another way to get up here. Over here. Which sounds like the sensible way. Except for the fact... Oh, it's because the ladder's blocked on that side. Bye. Nursey. Alright, no, let's... let's I, I, I just... Right. I want to keep out of sight... As much as possible. That is out of sight of the turret. Got it. And same. Agiordine. This it rep thing this no c c timer because of the no countdown is bloody awesome right
So that's the point where we can see. So then, really, I can just move all of these guys. We've got, we've got nothing to spring on us. And then it's a matter of, well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go too far forward with him. And I actually think what we do is we keep it so that he's always in squad sight, but not in actual sight. And I don't think he needs to keep his eye on, although there's a little side of me wondering whether what we should do is just keep him there in case. But then, then, then we'll have a harder time moving him up later on. Sort of, I want to keep him out of sight of the, um... Yeah. I want to keep him out of sight of that turret. But I, it's also nice having a good long shot down here. But honestly, at the moment, I think we're just going to keep with the stealth idea and get a bit of movement going, so... Copy that. I'm in no rush, but I don't want to suddenly get caught... I am on watch. What was that? Alright. Where is Elena? Okay, Elena, you need you've got two rounds to get there. I kinda don't wanna push it too look much with you. Alright, let's Volk says I am to obey. We got one more round, and I'm, I'm thinking what we do is next round we move there and then move forward. Don't push it with her, so just reload, pick that up next round, move one forward. Re -up just, and reload. There's no... There's no advantage as far as I can see to grabbing it this round. All right. My life is in your hands. What is that down there, though? Uh, okay, here we go. The time for hiding is over. No, it's not. No, it bloody well is not. What would make you say that? Nope. What is in there? Something is in there. Something. Or is that the tanker itself that can be shot? Are this is this the tanker itself can be shot? I think one has to wonder if Mr. Streamer has been paying any attention to you. I'm trying my best not to. Um, if I destroy this tanker, though, doesn't it destroy this? I need to recover the data, not not blow it the hell up. I mean, that's just going to kill nothing. That, that is going to kill all of these guys, but it's also going to kill this. We don't want to do that. Which is a shame. Okay, well, I'm not... Let's... See, what I'm thinking we do is we get all of our guys over here, although I don't like the idea of being near this, all these explosives. I actually think that's still safer. Um, Closing on target position now. So, yeah. It's a shame. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can stealth hack. Actually, what I should do before I do that is take Elena and where is Elena? Oh, have I, I, oh, of course she blew up. She she's she blew up the thing. She blew up the thing, moved and reloaded. Got it. Um, then we're not moving too much. Right. Move, move, move. 
Wait until you get a specialist, close, hack it, then blow them up. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, we got two hackers. Got to get them as close as possible, both of them. But we're in no rush at the moment. That's the thing. I just want to get... I, I mean, I don't like everyone bunched up on this car. But at the moment, I feel like we don't have too many things to worry about. Because we would have seen some people over here. Okay. I think, wouldn't we? Probably. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the movement. I don't know where those guys are going to move, but they might move towards us, so it might be a nice idea to have don't want to go too far yet, just in case, so... I won't let them pass. Let's see eyes on those eyes. where they go. I my eyes on. All right, they did not do anything. This is nice. Okay, first things first, let's go here. I will go. I will always find you. All right, we got eyes on, and no need to move too far forward yet. Where is Elena? All right, Elena, go get this, and then we're going to keep her low, I think. That will get it. So, oh, actually, let's just... I am trusting you. Advanced scope, advent data pad. Well, advanced scope's not bad. It's and, safely in tow. And then we move. Oh, the question is where. I, I, I still want to err on the side of caution here. I mean, we don't totally know where everything is yet, so. As ordered. Three enemies down, still eight to go. Right, and and we've we've got a, we've got three of them here, and we know we got a sector pod. So and uh, what was it? Uh, oh no, that's the spectre. We got the spectre. Right. Okay. So I want to try and get everyone away from the. Oh God. Turret, turret. No need to engage the turret as far as I can see. So, Orders confirmed. and they Moving seem out. to be quite stationary. So, do I want to? I kind of want to get eyes on a little further up as well. So I'm thinking of moving. It's a tough, it's a tough one, but. I don't want to do double moves with them, to be honest. Since I I don't have I don't have a need to rush. So I probably shouldn't actually rush. There's no there's no real need. Do blue moves, blue moves, blue moves all the time. It's a little slow, it's a little boring for you guys. Uh, but Yeah. I think it's for the best. Okay. Okay, I'm up. Right, let's get... I might do a bit of fast moving now. Oh, do, do I... I might actually want the sniper in position to take out that guy, but that will break concealment. Once the sniper shoots, concealment is over. The sniper breaks concealment for everyone, even if he's not in line of sight. Already there. So. Eyes on the prize. Got it covered. So they don't live there. I see the everything. Covering now. Oh, now they move. Meh. Well, could work out if they go near something that's splody. 
All right, I'm gonna move you to there. Volk says I am to obey. I can see the objective from here. Menace 1-5, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. We will. Where is trouble? 